Everyone wants to be a work-life balance ninja, but how do you do that? You know, this is such a tricky area because it, particularly when you're starting off in your career, it's all consuming. It is your identity. It is who you are. And most of your friends are probably your colleagues. And so your social life and your work life get blended. And it's very hard to draw that line between the two. I think as you get older and you move along in your career and your work life, it becomes, the home becomes much more important in what you do outside of the workplace. And it's critical because you need to sort of re-energize and refire and rejuvenate. You know, try to, you know, mark out time that you want to set aside and be clear about drawing those boundaries. If you're good at sticking to a schedule and being organized at work, you can certainly mark time out on your schedule for yourself and that's up to you to do. Is there a way to negotiate for more free time and more flexibility? Depends on your employer. Not everyone's so open to this. But if there's some way you can build flexibility into your work hours, and that's what most of us want. I think when you look at what makes someone love their job, it's often autonomy. It's having a sense of I'm in control of my time, of my destiny to a certain extent. So if you can find a way to talk to your employer about like, could I start a little later in the morning? Could I come in you know, at a different time? Can I work from home two days a week? But I think it's all about having that open relationship and discussion with your boss and talking to other people at work who have done similar things mm -hmm. to find out what were the roadblocks. How did they sell the boss on this idea? You're gonna have to prove that you can meet your deadlines, you can you know, make them shine by you not being in the office. And it's a control thing in a certain way. But I love it if you can have a flexible schedule. I find you can make the case to employers that in fact you're more productive. Thanks so much for joining us, Carrie. Thank you.